These little ultrasonic distance sensors are pretty cheap and you can find them everywhere, but you'll notice that they always don't return accurate values of distance. Well, that's also the nature of how they work because they use sound and sound sometimes doesn't get reflected correctly on different uh, materials that it hits. However, you can find these ones at from Easy Robot, and this is what we use a lot because they just clip in really easily. Um, <clears throat> these ones seem to have really terrible uh, resolutions. So I'm going to plug the wire here. I'm going to show you how to fix it so that you can get some more accurate um, distance out of it. And we're going to fix it with cotton balls. Something as simple as that. So take them apart. There'll be four screws on the back. And this is a really convenient package to be able to work with, especially since um, the, generally these distance sensors require you to hook up four wires. Like this one is four wires. You have a trigger and an echo. Uh, you'll notice that these ones from Easy Robot only have three wires because the trigger and the echo are on the same pin. So that's super convenient. So take this out, take this apart, and you'll see that the circuit board and the plastic are the only two things that are in here. That's it. So what's happening is when the sound is, is transmitted and then received, it's actually echoing inside of the chamber, causing a bunch of uh, noise. So what I've been doing is taking some cotton balls and a very small screwdriver. The first thing I do is I tuck some cotton balls in between the two circuit boards here. Okay, now you want to be careful. You don't want it to, to pull the, uh, the pins out because you want to make sure that the pins are, are not being pulled out inside and being separated. So be gentle when you insert in between the two. And then place your circuit board back in. It doesn't matter the orientation of how it is. And then we'll take another cotton ball. What I'm doing here is I'm going to tuck it down on the front side of it. And we're really just going to pack in a whole bunch of cotton because we want to absorb as much sound as we can and remove all the hollowness. And then again, we'll do the sides here and the side here. So on the camera, it's probably very, very white, but you can tell that it's full of cotton. And then simply place your back back on. And have some cotton sticks up the corners, who cares? You can always pull those off later. And then hold it tight and put your screws back in. And now when you go to use this distance sensor, you'll find that the resolution of distance is going to increase dramatically. You're going to actually get uh, some accurate readings. So that's it. Cotton ball saves the day.